What do you think really happens after death? I'm a little psychotic, but I swear I remember parts of my past life. I remember being born, I remember seeing the light, and I have a hard time distinguishing between reality, and just random thoughts. I don't know if my dreams when I was a kid were directly related to my past, or if I am just thinking they were, because it's been in the back of my head so long. I have come across a lot of, let's just say coincidences, such as calling events, seeing things happening seconds before they do, and knowing where people slash things are going to be before they are. I'm honestly convinced everyone who has ever lived was me, and only me. I am everyone, and everything replaying it over, and over again until I reach an absolute understanding of everything. I seem like a perfectly normal person, but I suppress a lot of fucked up shit I'm thinking, and believe in the hopes that I'm not right, but I usually am. I'm scary accurate with things that I should have no idea of why I know, but I do. I'm in a good place, just thought I'd share it. Everything that was happening before you died, except you. Quote from Keanu Reeves. The people who we leave behind will miss us. 1000% true story. Nothing. I died for 48 seconds during surgery. No lights. No visuals. Nothing. Nothing happens. You're dead. I don't know but I hope it's the same for everybody. Ever been knocked out? Everything just shuts down. Lights go out. That's it. All your emotions, ideas, questions. Gone. You can now play as Luigi. Nothing, from our perspective, because it does not matter, all that matters is the legacy that we leave behind in the hearts of those who knew us. Live life so that when other people look back on your life they see nothing but how your presence made their world that much better. So I guess you can say that is what happens after you die, the actions you do stay to show what you were. I'd like to believe heaven exists and there is a heaven, you can make fun of me but my niece has cancer and she's only one going to be two next month. Been thinking about this a lot. I've renewed my faith in Christ after a bunch of worrying that there is nothing after death in, like, the past week. No need to downvote me, there can be at least a few comments about God in a post like this one. Call me cheesy, but I think we reset our lives to become the versions we wanted it to be. For example, you rejoin with loved ones, reconnect with friends gone by, pets that were lost, I believe once we die, we are able to enjoy the life we would have wanted to have here on earth, our own personal heavens if you will. Whatever self-importance you had suddenly ceases. My god, reading through these comments. Are a very high majority of redditors atheists? For real. Life truly begins. I think you shit your pants and come. I'm agnostic, so I don't know. Which is why every once in a while I think about death and it scares the shit out of me. It'd be fucking sad if there's no continuation. Anyway wouldn't probably remember anything. I personally don't think anything happens after death, your conscience does not stay. You just don't exist anymore. If I had to believe anything else. I'd be more inclined towards reincarnation than anything else. Your brain slash body reacts and you suddenly get a rush of all your memories and happiest moments and then, you just sleep. I've had dreams that felt like they were a month long, so maybe it just feels like a long, happy dream in a long sleep. Gandalf, end? No, the journey doesn't end here. Death is just another path, one that we all must take. The grey rain curtain of this world rolls back, and all turns to silver glass, and then you see it. Pippin, what? Gandalf? See what? Gandalf, white shores, and beyond, a far green country under a swift sunrise. Pippin, well, that isn't so bad. Gandalf, no. No, it isn't. Nothing. You won't even know you die. I have epilepsy and when I have a seizure I'll be doing something and then my consciousness goes to nothing and I have no idea anything ever happened. Coming out of one is what reincarnation could feel like. Terry's like a two second period between blackout and consciousness that's peaceful and nothingness kind of like a void. 
very calming and white. Then I fully come back to EMTs getting me on a stretcher and bullshit like that, but he'll never forget those two seconds of pure peace. I've often heard that when our brains go through the process of shutting down we are overcome with a sense of peace, and even people who suffer from chronic illness and are in pain just kinda drift off to sleep and just stop existing. I used to be very fearful of dying when I was younger, to the point that just thinking about it would make me cry. My mind, my consciousness, my thoughts, my experiences, even if I have nothing else I still have that and the idea that it would eventually just cease to exist was devastating for me. Every single event in my life is locked away inside my brain and when that's gone I am simply lost in the vacuum of space and time. I used to have this narcissistic hope that I'd do something great and be written about in history books and live on forever, but I realized how unlikely that is. So many people have lived and died long before I took my first breaths, and after a few generations they are effectively lost in the vast expanse of time, forgotten about, almost as if they never existed at all. It's sad to think about really, how insignificant we all are in the grand scheme of things. I have a degenerative illness that will eventually kill me, I've kinda made my peace with dying for the most part. Knowing that I won't grow old and lose my sanity is comforting in a way. It will be exactly the same as when I wasn't born yet. I think the chances of any of us consciously being here, in the whole enormity of the universe, at this precise moment, are so ridiculously minute that there's a strong possibility we've all done it before. I once read a theory that a baby crying when born was the memory of a previous life disappearing. Your consciousness enters a new body but with no recollection of anything beforehand your previous self has vanished. It's also one thing that prevents me dismissing the idea of God. Souls, if you want to call them that, are like drivers in cars. You can have a shiny new model but until it has a driver it can't do anything, but how did I get to become the driver of this car and not yours? Why am I here at all? But then you go down the rabbit hole and send yourself crazy, smiley face. Take mushrooms and ask a god this question. A mate of mine said he spoke to Gandalf the Grey for 40 minutes about his life at home which wasn't going too good and Gandalf helped him by giving the best advice anyone has ever given do tripped balls, but is happier than ever. I don't worry about death. I just worry about how I get there. You get to have a bigger dog. Nothing, you don't go anywhere, you aren't reborn, you don't wander as a spirit etc. You literally just don't exist anymore. I wish I could believe anything otherwise or have any kind of faith because death terrifies me, the thought that my time is limited, with no reprieve is depressing. I'd even take just existing as my consciousness in the void for eternity, because then I'd still have my thoughts and ability to think about my life slash loved ones. Preferably there'd be more, but there just clearly isn't. Part of me feels it's cyclical, maybe you can do it over make a few different choices. I've had so many senses of deja vu in life, like I'm remembering the same moment as I experience it but from a third person perspective, or beyond vivid dreams of memories. Or just different planes of existence. I dunno. I lost my mother in my early 20s, we had a lot of unfinished personal business. My grandmother whom I was very close to passed right before my son was born, and a few weeks later I recall this dream of sitting in her old apartment holding my son and telling her all about him, what she is missing etc and it was too real, the sounds, the smells, we're having a real conversation, outside is just white, bright. My old cat is happily sitting next to me purring away. My grandmother, after holding my son for a bit says someone else want to see him, and the front door opens, I see the silhouette of my mother with that just brightness from outside flooding the space, there are a lot of people moving back and forth out there, so much, and I wake up with everything lingering and refusing to dull away like a dream. It was very visceral and, I haven't had any supernatural experiences, I like to consider myself grounded in the world, but that, whatever had depth and weight, and the people I knew had real presence. A real long way of saying I have no clue, but some interesting things have happened. When I had surgery everything disappeared. 
they told me to count down, I remember seeing the operating table and sitting up asking if I should move over, then the anesthesiologist and surgeon getting very concerned as they were starting to tell me to lie down and then that was it. It wasn't black. There weren't any dreams. Life just disappeared for a few hours. I tried really hard to stay awake when they gave me the anesthesia but obviously it didn't work. Then when I woke up I could hear but I couldn't see, everything was super fuzzy. Took a bit for my vision to come back to normal and for me to feel all there. I think that's what it's like, except without the part where we wake up. Although I know infants can't see anything that's not super close, everything further is super fuzzy, so maybe we start over again and that is part of it.